Mini split versus VRF. What's the difference? Mini splits and VRF systems have many similarities. In certain applications, both are viable. So, what's the difference between a mini split and a VRF system? The difference between a mini split and a VRF is that the outdoor unit of a mini split requires a pair of refrigerant pipes for each of its corresponding indoor units. Meanwhile, the outdoor unit of a VRF only has a pair of refrigerant pipes, regardless of how many indoor units it is connected to. Now, let's take a closer look at other differences between a mini split and a VRF. A single zone mini split is usually capped at around 24,000 BTU of cooling capacity. Meanwhile, some of the smallest VRF systems start at around 18,000 BTU and their capacity can go up to 54,000 BTU or even 300,000 BTU. Since VRF systems are generally large in capacity, their outdoor units are also physically larger than mini splits, with many of them starting with two fans, much like a multi-zone mini split outdoor unit. In the event of a refrigerant leak, VRF systems are very costly to repair since the refrigerant in the entire line will be gone. Whereas for single zone mini splits, it is on a case by case basis. Compared to single zone mini splits, multi zone mini splits are much more similar to VRF systems since they both have one outdoor unit connected to multiple indoor units. However, the biggest difference between a multi zone mini split and a VRF system is the number of refrigerant pipes. For example, a five zone mini split outdoor unit will have five pairs of refrigerant pipes with each pair connected to one indoor unit. Whenever a zone needs cooling heating, the multi-zone outdoor unit will activate the corresponding indoor unit. In a sense, it works just like a single zone mini split. However, it is very different for VRF systems. VRF systems use special copper fittings called the Y-jointer refnet to branch out the refrigerant pipe. Two pairs of refrigerant pipes are connected to one Y-joint and become one pair of refrigerant pipes again. Whenever a pair of refrigerant pipes passes through a VRF indoor unit, a Y-joint is used to connect the new pair of refrigerant pipes and the previous pair of refrigerant pipes. As a result, the number of refrigerant pipes remained at one pair at the VRF outdoor unit. Compared to mini splits, the copper pipe required for VRF systems is slightly thicker because VRF systems operate at a slightly higher pressure. There are more things to learn about mini splits and VRF systems. So, find out more on aircondlounge.com.